My name is Danko Emmanuel Kenjo, and I officially welcome you to Kentech 96 TV. For today's lesson, we are basically going to talk about star or delta connections. Now, remember, we said passive elements such as resistor, inductor, capacitor can be connected in either series or parallel. But have you asked yourself whenever you want to connect this passive element in complex circuits, then we need to use what we call star or delta connection. So let's talk about what we call star or delta connection. Star or delta connection is an arrangement of passive elements. And when we talk of passive elements, we have what we call a resistor, inductor, and capacitor, such that the formed shape resembles a star or delta symbol. So when we talk of a delta symbol, this is the symbol for delta. And this is the symbol for star. Now the connections are neither series nor parallel. So when you talk of this delta and star, these connections are neither series or parallel. Remember, when we are talking of series and parallel connections, we said resistors are connected in series. If one, if I have two resistors, I want. R2 and one end of R1 is connected to the other end of R2. It means they are connected in series. And whenever you connect them in series, say same current flows through them. And when you talk of parallel connection, if I have these two resistors, and the two ends are joined together without any other circuit element, it means they are connected in parallel. So when they are connected in parallel, they share the same voltage, but the current which flows through them are different. So when you talk of delta star connection, the resistors or the passive elements are neither connected in series nor parallel. The delta star connections are complex, are found in complex DC circuits. So when you have complex DC circuit, that is when we have what we call the delta star connection or full bridge rectifiers and a three-phase AC system. So let's quickly take them one after the other. So we talk about star connection, we move on to delta connection, then we also learn about how to transform delta to star and also star to delta. Okay, so for star connection, this is how star connection looks like, and they normally take the shape of Y. So this is star connection, or either Y or T shape or in the form of T. So this is like a Y shape, whilst this is like also a T shape. When you talk of star connection, resistors are connected in star if they all have the common point. So all these three resistors are meeting at the common point. So when you talk of the T shape, R1, R2, and R3, they are all meeting at the common point. Then for the Y shape, they are still connected in star because they are all meeting at a common point. And this common point is what we call neutral. So we'll talk about this later. Then this is the third one, which is also looks like a Y shape. And this is the common point. So for star connected, all the resistors are meeting at a common point. So this is also our neutral. So let's also look, let's also look at how delta connection looks like. So for delta connection, the three resistors are connected, the ends of the three resistors are connected together, unlike star connected, in which all the three resistors are meeting at a common point. For delta, the end of R1 is connected to that of R3, and it's also connected to that of R2. So look at the end of R1, it's connected to R2 and the same as R3. Now the end of this see R3 is also connected to that of R1 and that of R2. So when you talk of delta connection, all the ends of the resistors are joined together. And for delta, it normally looks like this shape. So here, like delta or pi. So this is the connection. So this is how delta connection looks like. One. So in a circuit, if you're able to identify something like this, it means they are connected in delta. So one, two, three. These are all delta connections. 
So from here, let's move on to how to transform data to star or how to also transform star to data. Okay, so let's learn how to convert from data to star. So converting data to star or transforming data to star. So this is data because it takes the shape of data. So now let's change this one to what we call star. Now in changing this to star, so this can be our star connected. So you have to draw the star connection inside the delta. So this is what is now inside the delta connection. So let's say this is R A, R B, R C, R A, R B, R C. So to calculate for R A, R A will be equal to the product of the opposite resistance, which is R one times R two all over the sum of the resistance, which is R one plus. R2 plus R3. Then Rb, which is this, will be the product of the opposite resistance, which is R1 times R3 all over R1 plus R2 plus R3. Then finally, if I want to calculate for Rc, Rc will be equal to the product of R2 times R, the product of R2 and R3 all over the summation of all the resistors, which is R1 plus R2 plus R3. So when assuming our assigned values to R1, R2, and R3, so the answer here will be what will be the answer for R E. After simplifying this. I have what we call RB here, and after simplifying this word, and I have what we call RC here. So let's take one question and see how to convert from delta to star. In this example, we are supposed to convert the delta network to equivalent star network. So here, this is the delta network, and we need to convert this one to equivalent Y network. So let's have our star here. So let's say this is R1, R2, and R3. So I have something like a star here. So I have R1, R2, and R3. So let's simplify R1. So R1 will be equal to the product of RC and RB, which is 25 times 10, all over the sum of all the resistors. 10 plus 25 plus 15. So our R1 here will be equal to 5. So here I'll have what we call 5 pin. Then for R2, R2 will be equal to the product of the opposite resistance, which is RERC. So I'm going to have 15 times 25 all over 10 plus 25 plus 15. And this is going to give an answer of 7.5. So here, R2 is equal to 7.5 ohm. Then let's quickly look at RC. RC. R3 and R3 will be the product of the opposite resistance, which is 10 times 15 all over 10 plus 25 plus 15. And this is, will be equal to 3. So for R3, I have what we call 3 ohm. So it means that I've been able to transform this data to Y network. So now 
let's look at the reverse side where we convert star to delta so for star to delta connection this is how the star looks like so this is y shape we have it to be something like a star and we need to connect this in delta or transform it from star to delta now something like this here, to delta so now we need to draw the delta around the star I can have my R1, R2, R3. Such that this star will be transformed to something like a delta. Where this is our R1. Or R2 and R3. So to calculate for the value of R1, R1 equals taking this, just this side of the triangle. When I take R1 out, it will be left with RA and RC. So you need to first add them RA plus RC plus you multiply. R A R C all over R B. Then, if I want to calculate for R two, which is this one, you take only this triangle, and I have R A R B. So if you go to R A plus R B plus the product of them, R A R B all over. RC. Then, if I want to calculate for R3, R3 taking care of this side of the triangle, I'm going to have RB plus RC plus the product RB RC all over. I so when I simplify this, the answer that I will get will give the value for R3. And when I simplify this, it will give me R1. And the simplification of this will give an R2. So let's take one question and transform it from star to delta. Okay, so in this question, we are supposed to convert the Y network to delta equivalent network. So we are supposed to convert this okay so per this question convert the star network to delta equivalent network so we are supposed remember this is star connected and we should transform it to delta so this is what we have here and we need to transform it to delta so here i can put a delta around the star so this is my r R B. Then finally, I'll have R C. So it means that this can be transformed to this type. This is delta R A R B R C. So to solve for R B. RA will be equal to taking care of this triangle. I'm going to have 5 plus 7.5 plus 5 times 7.5 all over 30. And RA is going to give 25 ohms. So here I have 25 ohms here. Then if I want to calculate for RB. So this is how I'll take care of this triangle. It will be equal to 3 plus 7.5 plus 3 times 7.5 all over 5. And how will be equal to 15 ohms. So in this how I'll have equal 
15 ohms here. Then finally, RC. RC, taking care of this triangle, this, this, this. I'll have 5, plan, five plus 3 plus 5 times 3 all over 7.5 and RC will be equal to 10 ohms. So here, RC will be equal to 10 ohms. Thank you for watching KenTechNet16. Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and please do not forget to share this video to your course mates. Thank you.